Today, I'm a Gideon, and I stand with you. We cannot minimize, trivialize, or rationalize what happened on September 28th. And this has proven, if you keep silent in the face of evil, then you are condoning evil. We in America and our civil rights movement learned in Mississippi, in Alabama, and in New York that when injustice is done, you need to rally, you need to march, you need to speak up, yes. because if you don't, yes. then the powers think that they can get away with evil. Oh. Yes. Yes. So we need to march, we need to speak up, we can never, never be silent. Do you agree? Yes. And let me raise some critical points here. Where is the President of the United States? Where is the Vice President of the United States? Where is the Governor of New York State? And where is the Mayor of New York City? We wrote them letters. We asked them to be here or to send a representative or to send a written statement condemning what happened in Guinea on September 28th. And we at this point have not heard from the president, the vice president, the governor, and even our mayor. I say, where do you stand? Are you with us or are you going to be historically silent? You cannot afford to be silent when you are a leader. Yeah. Leaders must stand up. Yes. Leaders must be courageous. Yeah. Leaders must be principled. Yeah. And if you are not, you are not our leader. Yeah. And finally, to the UN, where is the UN? They wrote to the Secretary General. We asked him to be here and speak. We asked him to send a representative. Is the UN going to find the people who did what they did on September 28th? And if the UN doesn't do it in this case, what good is the UN then? We cannot sleep. We cannot rest until every single individual directly or indirectly that participated in that massacre on September 28th is brought to justice. They need to be found. They need to be arrested. They need to be prosecuted. And they need to be put in jail. Because they are criminals. And criminals need to be prosecuted and put in jail. So all of us, we have a dream. We have a dream someday in Guinea that every Guinean will have freedom, that every Guinean will have justice, and we will not rest until that day 